group of Banyana Banyana players are set to arrive back home shortly from the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Three players returned yesterday. They return heroes after reaching the World Cup knockout stages. Shonim Timkulu is awaiting their arrival at the OR Tambo International Airport. I don't know if the plane has landed yet. Uh, Shoni, good afternoon again. And we know, as we, you told us earlier, we are expecting nine players by the, several of the technical team members. Uh, that's right, Pradhan. So the plane did eventually land. It was meant to land at 10 past 4. It landed at 26 minutes past 4. Uh, and we are expecting that the team should be coming out any minutes now because uh, some of the technical officials, the technical team, uh, have managed to come out. In, uh, and also the CEO of SAFA has managed to come out. And she joins me now, Pradhan, uh, now, rather, she joins me now, uh, just to talk about uh, uh, Australia, New Zealand, the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023, and Banyana Banyana. Story. Just, you know, obviously things, the way things worked out um, when they left, it wasn't um, great, but then they put on that performance. Just stuff as um, initial thoughts on how they did at the tournament. I think, look, we are really proud of the girls, um, the performance. Um, we've said, we obviously we talked before then to say, you know, how far do we expect them to, to go? Uh, and they were also very clear that, you know, they wanted to exceed the targets from 2019, coming out of the group stages and actually making also the quarterfinals. Um, unfortunately, you know, they, 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 they got knocked out at the round of 16, but we were really proud that, you know, they went a step further and joined the other two African teams in making the round of 16, making history in the in the process. So we're really proud of, 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 of their, their, their performance. What happened before they, they departed was uh, quite unfortunate. I think as an association, we need to prepare better. Uh, we need to go back and, you know, make sure that any other team that comes after them, you know, we, we have all our ducks in a row to ensure that, you know, everything works out smoothly before they depart so that they can focus fully on their performance. But as, as I said, before we left, they're professionals. Um, they knew what was expected once they got to New Zealand and Australia. Um, they put on the performance, they focused, and, you know, this look how far they got in the tournament. Just talking about having your ducks in a row and the expectations as well, I know that the SAFA president, Danny Jordan, had put a mandate that they should exit the group stages, which they did. What happens now for the team now that they have fulfilled this mandate? Um, what happens in terms of? Will there be basically some sort of incentive for the team from SAFA, given um, that they did fulfill this mandate? Well, look, before we left, we had an agreement in place and uh, the players signed for them. Um, I think you, you were a part of the uh, um, press conference where the incentive teams were announced in terms of the additional money that was raised for them. That money was raised so that, you know, whether they come out of the group stages or not, they were going to get that money. And the additional funding that they're going to be getting is the FIFA allowances. And those were based on uh, whether you come out of the group stages or you reach the round of 16 quarterfinals up all the way to the... Um, to the final. So we will fulfill um, our end of the bargain in terms of the agreement that we signed with the players. And then just last, it's Women's Day today. I know you had forgotten because you're from Australia and New Zealand. But just, you know, in terms of that and um, narrowing kind of the disparities that exist, obviously a lot of it is around pay, but it's bigger than that. I mean, you know as a former player, just the sort of how structurally things are for women. Uh, what is SAFA going to do uh, to make sure that, you know, things are better for uh, the women's game in general? I think we've made a lot of strides, you know, um, since last year we were actually paying the players similar bonuses to to what the men were getting, uh, but obviously we need to take that back to the remunerations committee because they are the ones who determine, um, you know, the bonuses, the daily allowances, etc. But um, our, our position is quite clear that whatever is determined you should be, you know, um, the same, whether you are men or women, because we feel that, you know, 90 minutes on the football pitch um, by Bafana Bafana is the same 90 minutes that Banyana put in, but at the end of the day, we also require you know corporates to come on board because that is has to be backed up by funding, sponsorship funding, and that's that's really cruci crucial because we can say that we're going to do it, and at some point, um, we don't have sufficient funding for it because we don't have su su sufficient sponsorship. But I think from our side, it's just about you know continuing um, our journey of uh, bringing more sponsors on board for both Banyana and Bafana to ensure that we meet um, you know these targets that we've set ourselves in terms of the daily allowances in and outside the country, the bonuses um, when they leave um, and participate in major tournaments.
Okay, thank you so much. We will leave it there. The team hasn't yet come out, uh, but but then, as I said, the Safa CEO is on this or was on the same flight as the nine players that are coming out. So we're still waiting for them to come out. They should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, yeah, and then we'll obviously get to see them. There is a small crowd that has gathered here. Just to my right over there is the family of goalkeeper Kibuteng uh, Muletzani. So it is a small crowd, as we said earlier, that has gathered. But there is uh, some family that is here and possibly more family will be here uh, tomorrow when we have the big Bigger celebrations, Braden. Yeah, that happy family, they're waving at us, waving at you, Shoni, there, and the, and the cameraman. Please don't forget my request earlier. I don't know which two players you're going to get to interview, but make sure Sio Posinga is one of them. That number 10 Jersey player, I like her style. And we, let, we don't have too long to wait now. Thank you very much, Shoni Mtumkulu. At the OR Tambo International Airport. Shortly, we are expecting that group of nine Banyana Banyana players to come out there after they landed. The CEO of SAFA is already out, plus a few other members of the technical team. A bigger group of Banyana Banyana will be returning tomorrow from down under from the FIFA World Cup, where they really made us proud by reaching and making history, as make us proud and making history by reaching the round of 16.